you calling up time first for the prayer. And then right after the scripture be read by Rihanna Mark.
their mind and understand that they understand what they'll see. Amen. So they can say, they can with assurance, I know who that is over here. Okay. Okay. And that, that can not be his sheep. Yeah. And don't be just saying that they'll be his sheep. So we praying, praying for them. And at this time, and give them another hand, y'all.
sudden, sometimes you hear about things getting blowed up and different things. I said, they can't blow that man up. I was like, they can't put no Jesus okay. from the inside. Out. That's an inside thing. Oh, yes, yes. You, can't, you can't act it out. I, I say this to us because sometimes you have a, a person that looks like a dressed up devil. Okay. You see how I am? Okay. So I can act any kind of way. That's right. They just be dressed up, a dressed up devil. Because the inside ain't clean. The inside. That makes a difference when the inside is clean. Yeah. Yeah. And you can smell good from the inside to the outside. And guess what? God smells. Uh -huh. You stink. I'm talking about attitude. And I'm talking about sin. He smells it. And God's people smell it too. They see, don't care how dressed up and clean you is. They see. Because you can only pretend for so long. And sooner or later, the real McCoy is going to come out. Before I call um, our Pastor Kelly up to sing Amazing Grace, I want to know if anybody else desires to sing on this afternoon. <laughs> no, no, okay, Pastor Kelly. <laughs> Amazing grace shall always be my song of praise. For it was grace that was my liberty. I do not know just how he came to love me so.
one don't leave, we don't even look past the fault. And then sometimes we're holding and holding and holding. We say, well, I forgave you. But still, you're holding and holding them. I forgave you, but you get holding. And God, when he say he forgave you, he forgave you. He'll bless you. He won't, we won't for you to say, you know, he used to tell us, and he's still, uh, tell us still here too. So like, you may do something, and you know the wrong, and come back to where you thought that people will receive you back and love you and help you get back up out, you know, where you was at. Get out, out from get up from out of the dirt. Amen. And sometimes you, the ones you think that come hold you in a carriage, you sometimes they won't let it go. They'll keep letting you know what you did wrong. But God, if He remained, He remained and let you know not to go back. Don't go back. I brought y'all there. Don't you go back to me. He look beyond our thoughts about how we look. When man don't give up on God don't give up. Because, you know, we, we give up so fast, y'all. We give up so fast on one another. But if we have, give that love of Christ in us, like he got, I mean, that genuine love. And there's some people that got some genuine love. Don't think that they know it's people that's it's still right here. Amen. Love is still here. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't been love. Real genuine love is yeah. still yeah. alive yeah. on the day. Yeah. So thank God. I'm glad he looked at yeah. me on my phone. Because yes. I was a sinner one day. Yeah. Yeah. Every now and then, I think wrong when I miss oh, it. Some kind of way. Oh, he, he looked beyond me. Give me another chance to forgive me, y'all. Glory to God. And let me get up out of it. Yes. And go forth in his name. Yes. So I'm glad that's a, if y'all don't know why there was some praising it and raising their hand, they can remember when. Yeah. But he did. Yeah. It might have just been an hour ago, they might have looked wrong to talk wrong. Yeah. But God looked at young. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I live, y'all live. Amen. So I thank God they gonna keep on talking. Like I said, we got that preaching already on the day and got that good singing. Yeah. At this time we gonna uh receive the offering, and we're going to ask uh, Eliana Morrison, Sanaya, Reed, and if I'm not, y'all forgive me, I ain't just messing your name with mess it up. And Erica Smalls, you know, on Let's get up to the choir Thank God for another year. Thank God has truly blessed us. We give him glory and we give him praise. Thank you for everybody for coming to share with us on this great anniversary. Our people are small, but they got a big heart. That's what that's what made our Misa. Thank God for our young people over here. Amen. God, they're still in training. We believe that God is going to do a miracle in their life. Amen. Amen. Just praise God. We're going to ask uh, everybody to stand up and pray for the prayer.
singing this song uh, from Pastor R.P. Landry. We're going to take it off here and send it to her. It was at a service Friday night, and she reminded me she had heard her song in a while. Okay. <laughs> so I told her, I said, I don't know when I'll see you again, but I can record it and send it to you. All right. <laughs> right. So we're going we're gonna to sing it today. Amen. All right. Well, I woke up early this morning feeling good.
This is their brother right here. Give him a hand. Oh, you're my, that's mommy, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we have Lakaya and Sanaya. And there's her grand, their grandmother over here. And then I'm oh, here. Oh, yeah. And uh, Maya. Those are my babies, right? They're my grandbabies. Oh, yeah. Keisha back here. Keisha. The auntie back there, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, praise God for everybody coming so happy. Because the anniversary would not be what it is without people. We need people. Amen. You know, uh, the seats that we need people. We need you. And so we so appreciate that you came and helped us fellowship. And it's time to ask the pastor to shut down words and say, I enjoy it. Thank God. Anybody, anybody, think I got my musician? Yeah. Woo! Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Okay, brother, I'm great. That's the presentation this time. Let's give him a hand as he comes. Amen.
Mayor Clark of Sides. Give it a hand, y'all. Chapel of Praises Virtual Church. We pray that a song that was sang, perhaps the sermon that was preached, or the lesson that was taught was a blessing to you and yours. You may not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and we would like to take this time to extend him to you. The Bible declares that if you believe with your heart, and confess with your mouth that God raised Christ from the dead, that you shall be saved. That's right, it's just that easy, believing and confessing. I would like to tell you that this way may not be easy. Therefore, we recommend that you find yourself a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. There's strength among saints, and you cannot live this life by yourself. Now, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take a moment to pray to God. Some people say, I don't know how to pray, but it's just this simple. Just take time and have a small conversation with God and tell God that you're tired of the way you're living, tired of the things you're doing. And believe me, I promise you that this day will be the best day and it will begin a walk that you will never regret. I'm going to pray for you now. Father, we thank you for that soul that has just chosen you to be their Lord and Savior. Father, we want you to do a new work within them, clean them, change them. And God, let them have the desire to further themselves with you. And God, we thank you and we love you. And we know that all things, and we get all things are done by you and through you. And we give your name praise. And believe me, saints, now the angels in heaven are rejoicing because you came to Christ. And not only are the angels rejoicing, but I and we here at Clinton Chapel are rejoicing along with you. Now listen to me. You take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Shalom.